got the sheeting on the left side. We've got the trim on the uh, galley portion. The next thing to do is to put the trim around the door. Um, this is a Thursday. I'm probably going to do that this weekend. But just thinking ahead a little bit, um, won't be long before I'll be building fenders for this thing. The, the trailer actually came with 13-inch wheels, and this is a 15-inch wheel that I put on there. Um, this is off of another trailer. I just want to see what it looked like, and it looks so good that I went ahead, had a moment of weakness, and I ordered a set of 15-inch aluminum mag wheels to put on it black with uh, silver outlines and here's the uh, silver center cap so i'm going to take a moment just to go ahead and mount one of those here on the uh, driver's side and um, that'll help me start planning out you know fender sizes heights lengths and all that so uh yeah the build continues and adding a little bling on it. it's looking pretty good I have to say I'm loving the looks of these new mag wheels. I checked the pressure, they put 35 pounds in there. Now for you um, YouTubers that are pretty savvy on trailer tires and wheels, you're probably wondering why I put 35 pounds in there. When a trailer tire calls for 50 pounds, that's because I'm not running trailer tires. I'm running passenger car tires. From what I've read <clears throat> on some of the travel trailer forums, teardrop campers generally thousand 1500 pounds somewhere in there uh, some of them a little less there's just not that much weight on the tires and generally passenger car tires each tire can carry at least the weight of the camper probably in most cases a little bit more so both tires combined will be uh, probably hold 60 percent more than what the camper is going to weigh um, i've read that passenger car tires work really well and where you can air them up to um, a lighter psi um, it acts like part of the suspension now I'm not recommending you do this I haven't even tried it yet uh, obviously I've still got the camper in the shop as soon as I pull it down the road I may pop these tires right off and put some trailer tires on there but I'm going to try these out and see how they do um, but wow these things look sharp I'm super excited about the way these wheels look it's really going to set this camper off so with the sheeting on the left side and the roof and the tire on the left side, I'm getting ever closer to getting this thing wrapped up. Um, so check back for some more videos of the Camp Easy 5945. If you haven't subscribed, I'd encourage you to do so. <clears throat> that way you can be notified when new videos come out. And if you have any ideas for videos that you'd like to see or topics covered, put it in the comment section below and we'll see what we can do. So take care. We'll see you next time.